hearing for the first time from one of the co-defendants named in that indictment. Former GOP chairman and accused fake elector David Schaefer wants his case moved to federal court. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper joins us outside the state capitol in downtown Atlanta. Tori, Schaefer's motion has some finger pointing saying he acted at Trump's direction. It does, Sean, and we have been digging through that court motion, and in the court motion, it says that David Schaefer should be immune from state prosecution, and as you mentioned, his attorneys want his case moved out of Fulton County. On Monday, former GOP chairman and Republican elector David Schaefer and his attorney filed a motion claiming he is immune to state prosecution under the Supremacy Clause. The court filing argues the Supremacy Clause bars the state from criminalizing Schaefer for submitting a petition to contest Georgia's election results by organizing a meeting of Republican electors on December 14th under the Gold Dome. Schaefer's attorney argues he was simply a federal official taking orders from another federal official, former President Donald Trump, when he carried out those acts. Emory Law Professor John Acevedo says Schaefer is not a federal official. A GOP chair is actually not a government employee. Neither political party is part of the government. So neither the Democratic chair nor the Republican chair is actually a government employee. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows is also one of the 19 people named in the indictments. Meadows filed a similar motion requesting his case should be moved to federal court for the same reason as Schaefer. So I think he has a much weaker case than uh, Mark Meadows, simply because Meadows at least clearly was a government employee. Schaefer's attorney also claims the meeting he had with 14 accused fake electors who submitted votes claiming Trump was the true winner on December 14th was not a secret meeting. Quote, nothing nefarious was going on, and Schaefer invited the media in to set up their cameras. But independent Atlanta journalist George Cheedy, who was called to testify before the Fulton County Grand Jury, told Atlanta News First something very different about his access to that meeting in December. A woman says, it's an education meeting. And then they close the door and they leave somebody out front so that I can't just walk back in. Now it is important to note that as of tonight, David Schaefer has not turned himself in, but his bond amount has been set at $75,000. We will be watching to see who turns themselves in, and we will bring you the latest right here on Atlanta News First. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta from the state capitol tonight, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Thank you, Tori.